Get every flavor of wrecked France. You are no longer relevant. Jack up that uh, naval spending. Make sure we're bringing the horses back. Oh, it's so beautiful. Roast beef, potatoes, and gravy. Could eat that every day of the week. Yep. Get on that boat. We have got killing to do. Yeah, we're equal on tech, but you only have infantry and we have some cavalry. Not a lot, but some. We will vassalize the Pope in this war if we get even a moment of chance to do so. Also, why am I taking uh, attrition here? I should be in Allies' home waters, but... Logic. Okay, that's very important. Lang dock. I need Lang dock. Give it to me, give it to me. Give it to me, give it to me. Oh, just, uh, here's a moment for a drink. This is getting pretty intense. Right, can't forget Langdok is actually our war goal. We take that and uh, things start to look a good bit better. I should also dedicate a ship to it. Because Castile's not doing the best job of that. Liguria's almost cored. That will be a huge boost to our economy, and I mean huge. It's also very unlikely to convert. Speaking of conversions, that is a very small, uh, wait, what? Their religion is Protestant, but they have no Protestant... No, whatever. It's a paradox. Give me Eel de Frogs, come on. I want it. I need that war score, hombre. Okay. That's some nice income. We are going to go over a force limit here because I do anticipate Austria piecing out and leaving me with uh, a job to do. Yep. You son of a bitch. But this war ain't over yet. I have this.
still a matter of uh, quasi and regal concern because now France will probably raise a formidable army and come and smack me. Let's just back ourselves up in Languedoc, keep those troops on the go and hope that they concentrate more on lifting sieges than smacking down uh, sieging stacks. Can still take decent amount, but well, two, two problems is decent, but I need more. Also, I really want, uh, I really want the Pope. I think the Pope is a vassal here. military access will get us over to Roma. Could just be the break we need. Come on Castile, do something, don't just sit there please. Please! You just upgraded your troops, didn't you? What are you doing? Oh well. Okay, I don't like the way he's moving towards Langdok. A lot of things I don't like about this. Oh, Castile, you dog. You knew I needed to heal the France. <laughs> At least you caught it, so to speak, but uh, that wasn't very welcome. Okay, right. We can get this done fast enough, the Pope can be ours. Protestant Reformation is here. Let's hope that uh, it does not break our country up, because that would be awful. Okay, this is this is kind of good. They're focusing more on lifting sieges than lifting sieging armies. First Romagna, then Rome. You will all fall. Like lemmings, you will all fall down. I am backing up Langdok because I do not want to lose this siege. A lot of uh, war score depends on it. Damn you. Stop wrecking my ships, Pope. It ain't appreciated. Oh, well, that's the problem. The Pope managed to make a galley. Okay, good job, Castile. We got the capital. Now, if we just take Langdok before the Iberians peace out, and we will be able to carve a lot of this. I mean, a good deal of this. Come on! Please, Langdok, fall. What say you, Rome? About your Foisian overlords? And it, it is all going on here. Austria is now picking fights with who? Hungary, Silesia, Saxony, Venice, England, Livonian Order, Riga, Muscovy, Tver. Well, as long as it doesn't get me involved. 
Eesh. Get rid of that war exhaustion because it would hurt. Come on, Lang Dog. Take a leaf out of Rome's books. Barely just arrived there and the walls have fallen down. Practically begging me to come in. I say let Pope be Pope. No, that would be foolish if I have the Pope as a vassal and I integrate him and nobody else becomes the new Pope and I can enjoy uh, a lot of excommunications. Similarly, if I just have him in my back pocket, uh, he will be... Uh, You'll have low opinion of anyone we fight. Yes, Langdok. Now the only thing, the only freaking thing we need is Rome. And we are done. We are out of here. I suppose I should put my troops to good use. If I carpet a bit more of France, that'll give me an edge at the negotiation table. Come on, Ro. You're all I need. Come on, Castile. Show your balls. I'm sure your five maneuver general can uh, wrap around them somehow. Castile. Stop costing me war score. You're useless. Get back to your sand dunes. <sighs> I should really take it upon myself to crush the French, but don't fancy sinking more manpower than I already have. Come on, Rome. It's not hard. Down on your knees and beg. Okay. Rome, get in me. Uh, I'm not going to take your money though. I find that destabilizes vassals too much. I'm also going to make absolutely sure you're not in any other wars. And you have you have a core on Medina? Oh, you're getting that back. And a claim on Firenze. That might be a bit too intensive to give to you. I'll keep you as a strong enough vassal though. We'll get you Medina in another surely successful war with Ferrara. But for now, Rome, join forces with me. We must fusion. Remove Genoa as a rival. Name the Pope as a rival. Oh, it doesn't make it cheaper used to. Maybe it only... Yeah, it only works for provinces and annexation, but not for uh, Barcelona. Well, whatever. I've got my flexible negotiation on the go. Papal State will become a vassal of Foix. Not too worried about that uh, aggressive expansion. It drops our war score, but only by a tiny bit. I want Langdo. Oh, that's good. That's a hell of a lot of aggressive expansion with a lot of people, but that is almost too good to pass up. Maybe I shouldn't take Toulouse. That's that's expensive. And France just got local nobility. Oh well, no, maybe they've had it for a wee while, but that's frustrating. That's going to make these things twice as expensive to chew up in terms of coring. Yeah, ouch. But it's still worth it. I mean, I'm ahead in uh, administration anyway. I don't want to take too much overextension here, though. Dauphiné and Langdok would be 60.